Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're gone. We're gone. Go, 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 go. No! <laughs> it is Friday, August 23rd, and we have massive, massive news from Valve, specifically with Deadlock officially removing and lifting the terms of its NDA, as we'll use very lightly. So now that you're able to stream, show videos, and discuss more about the game, fully with no repercussions. So obviously this is definitely something that I'm very excited about. And I had gotten finished streaming Deadlock for the last two hours, having fun, chatting with the community and a whole bunch of other stuff. This is very exciting because again, for one, the game is now open up to the public. I also even unlisted a video that I had worked on that was two months old where I was talking more about, I guess, like my own review about the game. And that was a lot of fun. Obviously, a little bit of that info is a bit outdated, but I do mention that in the video. Definitely feel free to check it out if you want to watch a 14 minute video of me nerding out about the game and having access and talking about the game since I had access to it all the way back in May. But I do want to mention that there is a bit of a caveat when it comes to playing Deadlock or at least trying to get access to it now that it is kind of you know, you're able to talk about it and it's been opened up more. So the caveat is it's invite only. So you'll need to get an invite to the game, which of course does suck, but that's just the way that it is right now. And they even mention we're keeping it this way as the game itself is very experimental and still early in development. But there's a couple ways for you to actually get invited to the game. Currently, the most popular method is, of course, to go to the subreddit, which is r slash deadlock the game. Now, I can only imagine the moment that it did go live with this message saying that, you know, it the NDA has been lifted, that that subreddit is on fire right now, okay? That subreddit is probably being bombarded by so many different people who've also just told them, go to that subreddit, put in your Steam username, make sure you mention that you want the game and someone will go out of the way to add you and invite you. So that's currently the way that they're doing it right now. It's incredibly interesting because some people have mentioned that it's this kind of like word of mouth effect that they're doing. And I think it's just Valve going out of the way to try different methods of promoting their game in a way where, obviously it almost creates like a FOMO effect where it's like fear of missing out and just wondering, oh, what's going on? What is this all about? Unfortunately, that kind of worked in a way because most of the time, tons of people have been leaking the game and it's been one of those things where it's just like, holy crap, okay, now we see the game. Some people are like still kind of eh about it, which is fine. And then other people are like, oh, this looks pretty interesting now that I can actually see what the game is compared to just seeing some low quality pictures from the internet from these play tests that were done earlier on. Now, I do want to mention that there's been over 50,000 viewers and growing on the Twitch subdirectory ever since it has been added, including all the most well-known streamers like Shroud, Moon Moon. Tons of people are taking out the time to play it right now and you can actually watch it for yourself as of this video, which is really cool. But it seems like I kind of have a couple of things I do want to mention here, which is these next couple of weeks are going to be a little bit rough because you're going to have a mix of newer players that are wanting to try out this game and also want to see what it's all about in terms of playing it. And maybe they've never played a MOBA before or anything like that, but it's going to be a bit rough. I mean, even when I was streaming in my first two hours since that had been announced that the deadlock playtest has now opened up to the public where people can talk about it and invite your friends and whatnot. According to the, the games that I had, at least like maybe three of the games, a good chunk of the team just completely left. They just decided that they don't want to play the game anymore or even bother just because of them getting killed or just not understanding and just getting off the game. What? Four people already left. It's only me and this guy. I mean, given this type of game, it's going to make sense that there's going to be people who are going to leave. So I'm not really too surprised. This makes sense because, of course, a lot of people know Valve for many of their other games. I, I know that Dota is one of these games, but more so, a lot of people know Valve for like Team Fortress 2, Half-Life, Counter-Strike. These are the type of games that these people are well known with. So they're shooters. When it comes to games like Dota 2 or even now Deadlock, these are games that are more MOBA based focused. So of course it is a shooter, but there is more MOBA heavy elements within the game. And I think people will understand about this down the line. It's still an early development, but Valve feels very confident in what they have going so far. And they're now ready to open everything up and ramp up promo for the game, which is awesome because that means that we're possibly going to get some sort of maybe tease or mention or some sort of uh, I don't know, like trailer about the game itself. I don't know. Some people mentioned that possibly this might be at the International, which is in September. But currently, as Gamescom is going on, other people have mentioned possibly even in my community that maybe they might show it at Gamescom. For right now, we don't really know. Again, it's Friday. 
Gamescom ends on Sunday, so it would make sense that possibly tomorrow they would mention something official and they have something for this. This would be really cool, and I'll probably end up covering more about this at some point too. More into some other things, I do want to talk about some of you guys in the community mentioning that I should do some Deadlock content. And I do want to say that I'm interested, but I'm not sure exactly what people would be interested to see, you know, depending on the content. I, I know that there's a couple of different things that could be done. I'm not really too much of an updates person about that game specifically because there's just so much patches going on compared to that and me covering Sandbox too. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. And maybe if you guys feel like you would like to see some sort of suggestions, maybe me talking about the lore or maybe parts of new characters coming to the game, whatever it might be, please feel free to let me know down in the description below. I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, again, the best way that you're able to get access to Deadlock right now is through the subreddit. So please make sure, as I will have it linked also down in the description below, please make sure to check out the subreddit so that you're able to possibly get your hands on the game and try it out for yourself. Of course, definitely feel free to take your time, try the, the practice modes, give the game a chance if you want to. If you think it's mid, if you think it's ass or whatever, then that's fine. You know, you're entitled to your own opinion and you don't need to play the game and you can express that all you want. It's going to be a ton of fun to see where this game is going to go now that it's kind of being thrusted into the public, even though it's still invite only and not officially released yet. But it's very interesting and I can't wait to play some more, especially possibly with you guys in the near future. Who knows? So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Of course, if you want to learn more about Deadlock and also my experience with it, I have made a video talking about that right here on screen. So hopefully you go and enjoy that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.